I'm Anil Kumar. We are sharing questions to understand probability distribution. The question here is, a bag contains three red balls and four green balls. Write down the probability distribution for R, where R is the number of red balls chosen when two balls are picked without replacement. So it is important to understand that this case is without replacement, correct? You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Let's see how to solve it. The question is, a bag contains three red balls and four green balls. To start with, we have three red balls and four green balls, right? Write down probability distribution for R, so we want red balls, where R is the number of red balls chosen when two balls are picked and we are picking two balls two balls are picked without replacement without replacement right so so that is the key without replacement so what happens so if you pick a ball the number of balls decreases that's important to understand is it okay now let us see how to solve such a question now in all we have seven balls as you can see three plus four so total total we have three plus four which is seven balls is it okay so total there are seven balls now that will help us to find the probability right so now let's begin by choosing the balls so when we make the first selection let's say let's make it here so when we make the first selection we could get either a red ball or a green ball right so that is the option so you could get red or green now now what is the probability of the red ball since there are three red balls out of seven probability of red ball is three out of seven is it okay and four out of seven is for the green ball okay so that is how first picking is done and now again if we pick the second ball and let us say we had the red ball then in that case what happens now well the probability is you could get either red or green what is the probability of picking red when we have already picked the red ball well clearly there is one less red ball right and in all out of seven we are left with six right so Two out of six is it okay this makes sense so second time it is two out of six as far as the green balls are concerned they are still four since we picked red first so this is four out of six right so that is how we could do now in the second case if you have picked green first then the case could be you could get combination of uh, red and green of course but in this particular case, since we picked green earlier, so we have three red balls, right? And out of six, so it is three out of six. One ball has been picked, right? Now green has been picked earlier, so green number decreases by one, so it becomes three out of six. So that is the tree diagram, which actually shows the position, whatever we have, right? Now here, the combinations are that we have two red balls, we could have red and green, we could have green and red, or we could have two green balls, okay. Let us also calculate their probability simultaneously, right. So two red balls in this case will multiply these two numbers, so it will be 3 over 7 times 2 over 6 correct so let me write this as 6 over 42 okay the second one here is uh, 3 over 7 times 4 over 6 that will be 12 over 42 and then we have 4 over 7 times 3 over 6 so 4 times 3 12 over 42 and the last one here is 4 over 7 times 3 over 6 which is again 12 over 42 correct 
So these are the probabilities. Let us check if it is right. So we can add all these up, the numerators. We have 6 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 equals to what? 42, right? So that means the answer is correct, right? So the probability adds up to 1. Perfect. Now let's read the question once again and try to understand what are we looking for. A bag contains three red balls and four green balls. Write down the probability distribution. So we are looking for probability distribution. What is that? Probability distribution for R, where R is the number of red balls chosen, right? So let us define our random variable, which, which is R. So, so let's define, so let random variable R be the number of red balls. Is it okay? So the number of red balls is our random variable defined. Now clearly when we are having two balls the possibilities are that we could get either no red ball right or we could get as we have here or we could get one red ball or two red balls. Is that okay? So there are these three possibilities, right? So, so when we make the distribution table, let me create one here and then we'll add these probabilities and fill the gaps. Then what are we looking for here? We are looking for the probabilities when we have one red ball, I mean no red ball, one red ball and two red ball. Is that okay? So that is what the distribution table will give us. So in this case, R is our random variable and we're looking for the probability for R equals to, let's say, small r, right? And these values, possible values, are either 0, 1, or 2. Is that okay? Now, for 0, that is to say no red ball at all. So no red ball means two green balls, right? So it is 12 over 42 one red ball. So both these cases actually combine to give one red ball. It could be first red then green or green and then red, right? So that gives us 24 over 42. Is it okay? Adding these two. So we get 24 over 42 and getting both red balls, two red balls, will be 6 over 42, right? So it is 6 over 42. Now, when we provide the random variables along with their probabilities, then we call this as probability distribution. I hope that's very clear, right? So, this table represents the probability distribution for the random variable. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Thank you, and all the best.